Okay guys, well I am going to try and explain the basics of the evolution of the souls or rather the evolution of the twin souls because when we are birthed from God consciousness we are actually split into male and female. Now I'm only going to bring the basics to you. There is more information in regards to this but that will come maybe at a later time. I just wanted to give you the basics showing you some of the keys that we have available to us and that will give you an understanding to the numbers and to the symbolism that you see in my videos where I am decoding the authentic crop circles and also the religious art mainly around the 1500s and the 1600s when there was a spike in consciousness and this is the way that this information is relayed through creativity so it's done through storytelling through painting and through music now this is basically what all of the religions and the power elite have been hiding from us and also what they know and the reason that they are basically out of control is because when we are judged and that is coming because what happens is the light of Orion returns at the end of a 26,000 year cycle and when that happens our hearts are weighed we are judged on the journey that we have just endured for the last 26,000 years and during that time we have traveled through both manifested realms on this planet because we are not only manifested in the hard physical we are also manifested in the ethereal and that's because it is the Sun and the moon that help to manifest the projection of Orion onto this planet so using the Sun and particles from the Sun and energy from the Sun and also the moon which is how we are basically birthed here using the energy of the moon we are then able to experience ourselves and God is able to experience himself through us and we originate as just energy neutral energy from the middle of the galactic center that is Atum and so that is infinite God energy with no consciousness and Orion uses that energy to birth souls however it's his projection that creates the individual soul so if you imagine that there is a diamond and each facet on that diamond is an individual essence of a soul however we are all still the one even though we have a different essence and that is given to us bestowed upon us when we are created from God spark and this will be explained by using the Fibonacci sequence now if anyone does not understand the Fibonacci sequence then I would suggest you go and do some research into this I also would suggest that if you have any problems understanding this information if it is not speaking to you on some level then you are not ready for this information and I would just suggest that you perhaps go and read some occult sciences uh, study some occult sciences a great place to start would be the Kabbalion and have some understanding of the real principles at work here in the universe not the flat earth science not the science that they've constructed because they want to keep us in the physical plane as I said we have two manifested planes here on this realm we've got the hard physical and the ethereal this is because as I said the Sun projects and manifests our reality onto this planet and so our planet is, is always half in the dark for half the time so there is a, another manifested realm on this planet that isn't so hard um, 
baked on is how I put it. I like to visualize this and this helps people when I'm under, when I'm explaining this to people. Imagine that um, the sun is projecting and manifesting Orion's thoughts onto this planet and where the sun is hitting the most it's hard baking that reality onto our planet. Where the sun isn't hitting so much it's not really hard baking it, it's only half baking it on. So we have another realm that exists on this planet that we can't see. This realm, the ethereal realm, is also closer to God. So they have more knowledge and they also have more skills to utilize than we do on the hard physical plane, utilizing the laws that are available to us. So... Throughout our 26,000 year cycle, which is one processional cycle, we actually move in between these two realms. And so when we die a physical death of our avatar, we pass over into the other realm, which is the ethereal, until we are rebirthed back into the physical. And we do this throughout this 26,000 years. So there really is no death. In reality, there is no death of the soul, because as long as we stay in alignment with our soul and I will do videos on that uh, later but as long as we are in alignment with our soul and we pass judgment and we are a good soul because you know God is not going to kill himself he is not going to destroy himself so he will not allow the souls that do not have good attributes to pass through at this time and go into higher consciousness because we are about to go into Zep Tepi and this is the highest consciousness of our existence on this realm. And then after a time, it slowly descends and decreases. And we have little surges and spikes, but for the most part, it's a downhill trend until it gets to the point where we are now. And we just have to look around us to see how broken, how debased and how removed we are from nature and ourselves we've basically bought the lie that we can do whatever we want to whoever we want and it's actually acceptable and even encouraged and unfortunately people are really just falling for the lies of the power elite because we are all accountable for our actions and we do get judged and I know it sounds almost like I'm preaching and I'm sure that that's the reason they have pushed people in these religious corporations to go out and preach to people so that when the truth did start coming out it would just be lost in the noise with everybody else. Now, I have about two years of research behind me. If you are only new to my channel, go and check out some of my previous videos. Everything I've ever done has been factually verified. So for me to be telling you this information means that I have some way of factually verifying this for you. Now, if you're only finding this video for the first time, I would suggest that you watch my two previous videos in the playlist, Sacred Sciences of Kemet because that will give you an understanding of where I'm sourcing this information and how this information is being presented. So, in front of me, we're looking at the Fibonacci sequence. And this is the sequence that is used mathematically for the universe to expand and to grow. Everything follows the Fibonacci sequence. Everything. Uh, galaxies, we see even the cone, the pine cone here. And we see this actually featured a lot throughout the Vatican. As I said, they know this information. And a lot of these top stars all are given this information. They basically have made a deal with the devil. There is no hell that you burn for eternity in. You are returned back to God source, completely wiped of your existence. And you can even see this relayed in the weighing of the heart ceremony from ancient Egypt. Which, by the way, Christianity is a carbon copy for ancient Egyptian knowledge and mythology. And so we see that the pine cone is represented uh, in Samaria and also in pretty much all the cultures. But the Vatican definitely have 
a big attraction to utilizing this symbolism. And as I said, that's because the Vatican know and the power elite know. That is why they're going all out and we are basically going to be watching them backed into a corner and then take as many people out with them before they fall. This is why it's important that we now start to withdraw ourselves from this illusion because that's what it is. They have created an illusion. Life as we know it is an illusion. We are not meant to exist on the planet in the way we do. We are not meant to use money and greed and envy and um, wrath and all of these other behaviors that are encouraged. We are not meant to live this way on this planet. And for those that think we are, well, good luck because you aren't going to really exist much longer. Just as I have explained, nature is beautiful when it is at work because only the best, the strongest and the fittest survive. This is the case in nature all the time. It's not like God is vengeful you know, any more than nature is vengeful. It's just that that's how... Nature survives by only the strongest and the best and the fittest being the ones to continue on. Those that are flawed, those with the flawed souls, those that have allowed themselves to be tricked and to fall into these base behaviours and think that they're not accountable to anybody, then they were sorely mistaken. And unfortunately, they believe the false prophets. And I'm sure that that is mentioned in the Bible. I am not a expert on the Bible, but I do know certain quotes that stand out for me, and one of them is not to listen to the false prophets, and unfortunately they have. So there is no hell. What happens is people that are of a flawed nature just get wiped of all existence, and they return back to atom as God energy to be recycled when Orion chooses to bring you into existence once again. And so we need to understand that all of the nebula within the galaxy are also conscious. They're also manifesting their consciousness onto other planets. And once again, this is all known to the power elite and to the Vatican and the Freemasons. All of this information that I have, they have. And so we need to understand that we are not who we think we are. We are not just this physical manifestation in this meat suit, as I like to see it. And I'm not saying we don't respect our avatar and we don't you know treat ourselves with you know good grooming but we just need to understand that we are not limited to this physical body we are actually ethereal we are actually more ethereal than we are physical and what we need to do is basically remove ourselves from that anchor that holds us down into physical reality and move up our energy system and this is what they were relaying to us this is what all the ancients were telling us we need to do but, once again, we need to be able to perceive a new reality to experience it. So if we're trapped in the 3D illusion that they are creating around us, then we really are not going to experience anything differently. So this is why information that I'm bringing you is very important, so that you understand who you really are. You are an energetic being, and you are manifested onto this realm into your physical avatar for you to experience life and for God to experience himself. And so when you start understanding that more and more, you start allowing yourself to move into your energetic body, to be more of aware of your surroundings. Instead of relying on the news to tell you information, use your own intuitive skills, use your own um, senses to understand what's happening around you. You know, um, we are guided with a lot of synchronicity in our lives, but we have to be willing to observe them. We have to actually acknowledge them and look for them, for them to mean anything to us. So I have just basically led into what I wanted to bring you, given you a bit of an idea of um, some of the information behind the twin soul, what they're hiding from us. As I said, I'll only bring you what I can, but it is a basic understanding so that we can move forward and I can start showing you how they've hidden this within all the religious paintings and also how the crop circles, the entities creating them have been trying to tell us what's going on. 
Well, this is part one, guys, and I'll be back with part two very soon. Peace out.